hello everyone in this video we are going to see the concept of cholestasis in pregnancy idiopathic cholestasis of pregnancy that is called uh, idiopathic intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy IHCP now what is the concept uh, friends if you see in the patients when they are in ANC period antenatal period in the third trimester in the late pregnancy many patient comes with complaint of generalized pruritis pruritis all over the body but especially on the palms and soles now this is a very very common kind of disease or syndrome why it happens and what can be we what can we do and what is the prognosis as a doctor you should know that when the patient comes to you with the pruritus on the palms and soles in late pregnancy first thing you should see or uh, think is IHCP what is the concept the liver in the body digest or metabolizes of the bile acids but liver the function of the liver is hampered by increased amount of estrogen that increase in the pregnancy so due to this uh, partial liver failure the liver cannot do its work properly starts from the bile acid accumulation in the blood so bile acid will just deposit in the skin tissue and connective tissue where they uh, make allergic reactions and that's why severe pruritus is there all over the body also bilirubin levels are also high liver enzymes are also high so it's a some kind of liver failure now uh, after understanding the concept why it happens in late pregnancy because estrogen is highest in the late pregnancy that's why again what is the most common symptom I already told you generalized pruritus over palms and soles now as you know that, that the, the culprit is a bile acid increased bile acid so what we investigate obviously the bile acids we Inve uh, investigate the serum bile acids there are mainly two bile acids there cholic acid chinodeoxy cholic acids this levels increases 10 to 100 folds in this IHCP serum bilirubin also increases not much some amount up to 5 mg percentage not more than that it's not like just viral hepatitis or it's actually hepatitis it's just like a partial kind of liver failure or dysfunction the striking thing is ALP alkaline phosphatase enzyme is much much increased if you see the main liver enzymes there are SGOT and PT they are not very much raised they are raised in some range around 70 now let's talk about the treatment the treatment is basically divided on two parts first the first part and the very important part is what to alleviate the symptoms how do you uh, alleviate the symptoms as i already told you the bile acid do allergic reactions so if we give antihistaminics like cetrizin they will act and they will cause uh, improvement in the symptoms of pruritus now the another thing the very basic thing we want to decrease the bile acid level so the drug is urodeoxycholic acid urodeoxycholic acid is the drug which decreases the bile acids in the blood and after this the very important complication of IHCP is intrauterine fetal compromise so IHCP is a very risk factor for intrauterine death, meconium aspiration, asphyxia, jaundice in the afterlife. So all these 
things are very very high risk for fetus so what we do we just don't prolong the pregnancy be beyond it needed be, uh, that means if uh, pregnancy reaches the term that is 37 weeks we try to terminate the pregnancy by induction or cesarean as indicated so termination of pregnancy is important again uh, until we do the termination we need to monitor the fetus with the help of ctg machine and biophysical scores by ultrasounds so this is the very basic of urodeoxycholic acid uh, treatment in ihcp and ihcp on general thank you friends